you know what the word means, but you know it didn't really like make you sweat to haul all that, but this did. My Costco order is bursting. I have been trying to only go to Costco on a maybe every two months type basis. Um, and I'm at that point now just because at this stage of the game, when it comes to buying our macros, whole food, organic food even at Costco, we pretty much know what works there for us and what doesn't. And we can make you know more plans like, well, if we buy four peanut butters this time, we don't need to go for another two months. And I find that way I control the spend at Costco. Another way I control the spend, and I have a blog post about this at amandabrakemanbrockman.com where this live will get saved for you. I also make a list and it's organized by macro. And then I take a second list for stuff that's seasonal that I might think is worth buying at Costco. And so if it's not on the list, then I have to really debate with myself if that's appropriate to buy or not. So I don't leave with like 12,000 pairs of footy pajamas, Halloween costumes, an exercise bike, earbuds, like all of the great deals that you know you're going to find, but they might turn into an impulse purchase and you get home and you're like, uh, and of course you can return it. But having a list, timing yourself, thinking, okay, I'm not coming back for two months, then I probably should buy two peanut butters, that type of thing. Those two really help me out. Last thing I do, it's kind of two-parter, I use my Costco credit card. It's from Citibank. I apply for it at Costco. When I pay and I get cash back from that, um, and I also use that in other areas of my life to make purchasing and get cash back there. So my Costco membership, we have the premium one or business executive. I can get the exact name if you're wondering pays for itself and then i feel like i'm getting good deals on other things most of the time so let's get into it let's kind of try and go by macro as much as we can and we'll go from there so let's start with protein because in my opinion that's just when i think macros i always want to be thinking protein first so i stock up on frozen fish at costco fillets of cod and salmon they usually have wild caught we didn't get any shrimp or scallops this time but they had them and they are a good deal to me there these are packaged in a way that I can take out one filet and thaw it, one filet at a time. That works really great for our family. So that was everything from the fish area. Um, then there's great selection of frozen chicken um, and just cold chicken and chicken tenders, breaded and unbreaded, huge choices. There's more and more every time of convenience food. So if you're struggling with protein, get over to Costco and you will find in the cold section and the frozen section items to save the day. You'll pay a little bit extra for them because they're made for you already. They're convenience food, but they're not too processed. But it will be worth it because then you'll be hitting your protein goal. There's chicken skewers. There's um, roasted beef that's already set to go. More and more choices every day with cleaner and cleaner ingredients. Big win. Now, I do usually stock up on a pack of organic chicken breasts and a pack of organic chicken thighs. So that's what these are. I will cut those apart and just freeze them unless they're going to work for the meal plan this week. They are just there to be a backup. I am going to compare the price here to what I'm usually paying at Whole Foods and my local Kroger and make some decisions for next time about is it worth buying more of these and freezing them or should I just keep doing my Whole Foods organic chicken breasts and chicken thighs. I also this time got some pork tenderloin. Here's this one. It is a great price at Costco. I just went with this much at a time. I've been using more pork tenderloin recipes. This is another one where I'm going to see if I'll use one this week on the meal plan, but otherwise I will repackage and freeze this for future dinners. And then last but not least, I was crossing my fingers this would happen and I'm very excited it did. I never thought to look at Costco for the eye of round roast. I'll show it to you. Um, there are two very big ones here. This is about six pounds total. Why do I care about this cut of beef? Well, this cut of beef has a lot less saturated fat and fat um, than other cuts of beef roast, but it still works really well for recipes like my Mexican shredded beef that I love to make um, and pot roast. Um, what else do I do with it? I can't think of everything else right now, but I like that beef round, eye of round roast because you get plenty of protein, but far less fat than most other cuts of beef. Another one I love, but I've never seen it at Costco, it's very hard to find, is bison or buffalo roast. They call it a chuck roast. It's more protein than beef and even leaner. 
more expensive, harder to find. So I was glad to find the Eye of Round Roast at Costco. Best price I've seen anywhere. It beats the price at Kroger by miles. So again, I will repackage and freeze because I don't have a roast plan for the menu this week. We just did one last week when I made the Mexican shredded beef. But that makes beef easier to fit into your macros and um, makes you take in a little bit less saturated fat, which can be a good thing if you're kind of keeping an eye on that. So uh, what else, what else for protein did we do today? For convenience protein, we did some of these um, huge amount of Canadian bacon. My kids love these and they'll use them for snacks and they can get them right on their own sandwiches. They have one gram of sugars, which are added sugar which is like the third ingredient. So I don't buy these every time, but back to school, we are gonna use them. And they're very affordable because of the big packaging, the huge amount you're buying. And then these chicken sausages, someone from, I think um, the Biceps After Babies Ladies group, I asked about, I'm going to Costco, anything new? And you guys talked about these, I think these are what you met, an organic chicken sausage. And I've not seen these before. Um, I have been buying my organic chicken sausages at Whole Foods. I love them, they're so clean, they're delicious, my family loves them. They are low enough in fat to fit into my macros almost any day. Even when I was in a cut at 1650 calories, I could work them in, and that's not true of most sausages. But those Whole Food ones I love, pricey for sure, so I said let's try these. Nine grams of fat, 16 grams of protein, no added sugars, organic. We'll give them a go, see what the family thinks. They're a little bit higher fat than some of the Whole Foods choices, but not that much, like only a gram or two more. And 16 grams of protein. So we'll see, I'll give these a go. Thank you all for recommending the chicken sausages. They were in the cold case. What else for protein? Um, I guess this kind of qualifies because really the only meh, significant macro in this crepini is two grams of protein per wrap, one and a half grams of fat, no carbs, no fiber, no sugar. I am just dipping my toes in the wrap waters. Uh, I have been pretty much moved gluten and bread to the sidelines of my eating pattern. It just really worked for me to do that and, and be able to hit my macro goals. It was a thing for me. I was just too addicted to bread and uh, mentally. And so I'm trying some wrap ideas. I'm gonna go, we'll see. The awesome lady at my checkout was like, oh yeah, these are good. Here's how to warm up, you know, crisp them up in the pan a little. Um, but make a plan to eat them in a week because you, once you open them, you got to eat them within a few days. So if you've tried them, let me know. I know you all are suggesting a lot of kind of wraps. I'm not ready to go on all the wraps yet, but I am going to try the crepini. I wanted to try the lavash, I think is what you guys call them, but I didn't see that. So I will keep trying. Let me know. Um, Deanne, you said you don't have those. I wonder what you meant. I know. That's the only rub of Costco. You can't promise yourself it's going to be there, but it's kind of like the fun. It's like a treasure hunt. So I'll let you know what I think of these. I am going to try them today for my lunch once we're finished chit-chatting. So I counted those as 13 fun macros. What else do we have here? Okay. Um, these two I help supplement my protein with, and they're always at Costco now, thank goodness. I love PV Fit. It is processed. It has a tiny bit of added sugar. And that's part of why it's so good but it's eight grams of protein and two grams of fat, as opposed to peanut butter, which I also love and bought, which has more fat and a, you know, a little bit less protein per serving, but this is a fun one I use in all kinds of ways. Smoothies, all kinds of stuff happens with this. Great price for organic at Costco, and it's been there consistently. And same here, this is an animal product. It can provide you protein. I cannot speak to the quality of the collagen peptides it is providing. I use it as a protein supplement. It disappears beautifully in hot liquids. It doesn't have any sweeteners because I'm real sensitive about the taste of sweeteners. There is also the chocolate version of this now. It was on the shelf. I didn't go for it because it's sweetened with stevia and I'm just too picky about the taste of stevia. But best price around to get vital proteins, collagen peptides is obviously Costco. So I bought another, bought another one. And let me see, that is about it on the protein side. Sometimes I buy sipping bone broth that has protein i didn't need to reload today costco is a phenomenal place to buy it because of the price and um it's pretty clean stuff they have organic version the broth i did go with today is um not going to give you protein but here i'll show that next i want the great big case of veggie broth this day, this time they also have a great clean chicken broth no sugar added in either one of these so we're giving this one a go great macros great for cooking and Let's segue into like nuts because to some extent you can help get some protein from the nuts, but then we'll go into fats. 
Um, and then we'll end with carbs and treats and stuff. So my husband thrives on this nut mix. We jazz it up for him with what's needed, but unsalted, it is an organic, but phenomenal price. So we're always reloading on that one and it's always there, thank goodness. These were new and different to me. Brazil nuts are full of really cool nutrition and they have these organic. This bag was only $11. I know it will not stay that price forever. Phenomenal price. Um, and a little bit goes such a long way with Brazil nuts with macros and nutrition. So just like one, you know, like that's all you need. They're huge. So if you're a nut person, those are there. And then this was a treat. My husband loves this nut mix and especially the one at Costco because unlike the version at Kroger, they add chocolate chips. Now, get, now you all know, if you're tracking macros, my, and my husband has been working out and has built some muscle, he eats a lot, he, he needs a lot of fuel. And so a cherry dry fruit chocolate mix with nuts fits in his macros. It doesn't for all of us, but great price at Costco. So this is often there and beware it does have sweetened dried fruit and chocolate in it and it's addictive and delicious. Okay. I think, let's see, let's segue that into, um, hmm. you know what, we'll flip this one in here because fat and protein, mozzarella sticks for my kids to, um, for snacks, forgot to say that one, that one I would call really more a protein, yeah, seven grams of protein, six grams of fat, cheese is often more fat than protein, but just got to read your label, see what you're getting, all right. Da, 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 da. I was so excited to find these. I have been working on my all or nothing thinking around treats. I realized last Friday after doing the five day um, challenge with biceps after babies um, and then talking with my friends, which is what Coach Amber recommended we do about what I was thinking, I had a really great aha moment that I had been thinking all restaurant food is bad and all treats are bad. All packaged food treats are bad. And it had really started to sabotage me. I was like, how did I let this get this far? So uh, all it took was to realize that. And now I'm like, you know what? No, it's not, Amanda. You've been studying macros for three years. You just had this phenomenal education that opened your mind even more in Macros 101, the eight-week class I took over the summer with Biceps After Babies, which some of you are now signing up for today. And I'm so excited for you. Um, and I'm ready. I am ready to like bring in some packaged treats and see how I do with them. And this one is a place for me to start because I love the portion control. It is something I need. I am not saying right or wrong about that. I'm saying it is what I recognize I need. And so do my kiddos. And then when I checked out the macros in these, they're pretty fair and balanced. Pretty much could work. And the ingredients are relatively clean. There's not an insane amount of added sugars. One of the choices has two grams of added sugar and this little bar, and one choice has four grams. And where's my fiber? I liked the fiber. The caramel, almond, and sea salt has four grams of fiber. I really like that. The peanut butter dark chocolate isn't as great, and at my Whole Foods, there's another flavor that also has like four grams of fiber. So the Kind Minis, great price at Costco. This is um, something I'm working on where I'm like, okay, is there room in my macros for a treat? Can I treat myself and not feel guilty and even when it's not the treat day that I've established, which is Saturday. It's a whole nother topic. We won't go there, but these I think are going to be in our family's rotation. Um, just work really well for us, for my kids to think they're having a fun treat. That's not just total sugar and it's a controlled portion size. And then um, other treats. Okay, I have saved these packages because I don't buy these every time, but I want you to see this. This is from my last haul. These That's It's bars you could consider a treat but they're really a concentrated source of carbs with no added sugars. They're just dried fruit, still at Costco, phenomenal price. If you are having trouble hitting your carbs goals, you're getting into macros 101 maybe, and you're like, I thought carbs are the problem, they're not, I can't hit my carb goal with real food. That's it bars might be a friend of yours, especially like for a go carb, still at Costco at a great price. And I, they are also often at Starbucks, but not a great price there. So that's it bars and this, um, these, mm, no, those are not there today. One more, oh, please, please, please. The snacks were still there. So what I wanted to point out about this, and this one, which I haven't take a, but taken a bite yet, but I could not leave these at Costco. You see it says keto, right? Now, do, I don't do keto. I do use two low carb days a week because I use carb cycling. Again, whole nother topic we could talk about another day. 
and it's just a scheduling thing. It is not magic to lose weight. It's just a scheduling thing that I do because I love systems. But here is the good thing that has come from the keto wave, that there are more and more treats out there that have less and less added sugar um, and more and more real ingredients in them. And they're good. So check out your ingredients, check out your macros, think about, okay, well I need this many carbs a day, this many fats, this many proteins, would this fit in? Is this a realistic treat? And Costco again has a ton of these lately. This keto, it says keto on it, but it's really a whole food treat that might work in your macros. So give it a look. It's over there in the snacks and treats aisle. And again, this is one I couldn't leave behind. Coconut, dark chocolate. It has a gram of added sugar and two grams of sugar alcohols. So they're using some sugar from nature and some sugar from more processed nature. And that, but there's nuts and seeds and coconut in here. And I think they're gonna be amazingly delicious. Not something I'm probably gonna buy on a regular basis, but I wanted to give it a go. And then, close your eyes if you don't do whey and protein bars. But I couldn't resist this either. <laughs> I don't do whey protein because I don't feel good when I eat it. I don't do protein bars or protein shakes. They just don't work for me. I wind up abusing them by meaning like, um, I just need five of those a day. Like, they don't work in my macros, all the things. I get, I get it, you know, like, but these to me are like a dessert. So this is another one where I said, all right, I'm gonna buy myself some Robert Irvine protein bars because they're really good. They're like a dessert taste. And even though they're whey protein, which is made from dairy and just doesn't agree with me all that well, I just let myself out of a box. So we'll see how it goes and what I think. But if you are looking for protein bars and protein shakes and protein powders, Costco has some options for you. Robert Irvine, not bad at all. Check out the macros. They're not that bad at all relative to all the things, but this is dairy. It's made from protein from dairy, which is whey, W-H-E-Y. They have their own store brand, and they have Orgain, which is organic, of shakes and powders and bars. And they're kind of all in one section right now, more than ever before, flavor-wise, for you to go. And again, put on your macro mindset, think of your goals, right? This is macro focus shopping. And then you look at the nutrition label, and you decide, does this fit into my life or not, right? And if it doesn't, move on, right? There's others out there. Okay, what next? Let's get over to this side. Kind of, we're kind of going into carbs here. Let me make sure there's nothing else getting forgotten. All right, we're going into the land of carbs. I adore oatmeal, and my family does too, and we go through it like crazy. So once Costco started carrying this, I guess it's called One Degree Organic Foods Farmers We Know Organic Spotted Raw Oats, we began stocking up by buy four bags at a time, and we'll use them all down to the wire before my last Costco visit. This is hands down the best price I've ever found on these. Um, even as good of a price or better than me going to my local health food store and buying my organic oats in bulk. And so, these are still there and I was very happy. Carbs, carbs, carbs. Whole delicious carbs. What else for carbs before we go to fruit and veggies? They have quinoa and brown rice even organic, best prices out there, but you're gonna get a big portion, so just keep that in mind. I didn't need to reload on any of it today. Um, and if you do wheat, they've got your organic wheat flour even over at Costco. So don't forget about the staples. If you know, if that's on your radar, if you're like, okay, I'm switching over, I'm gonna do more quinoa and brown rice, you might wanna entertain the idea of loading up at Costco. Big batches. Um, here are some interesting carbs, but also with fats and protein. So I kind of would call this a macro balance snack. Six protein, 17 carbs, and six grams of fat if you only eat like um, two thirds of the pouch, which is what my kids do. They can't usually finish a whole pouch, they usually split it. And this is something I buy for my kiddos because they adore them. I have found a really good copycat recipe, but I'm just, I don't wind up making it. So super better price than anywhere else I found. These are mainly lentils. There's some fats and cream in there. There's some, there's a little dairy in here but pretty clean and my kids do warm these in the microwave themselves. It is a convenience food that I definitely lean into and they adore um, and pretty macro balanced. If, you, if you're not too low in a cut, if you're not too low in a cut, these could be accessible, nice form of carbs in those lentils. Those are great carbs and they also give you protein and fiber. Let me see what the fiber winds up to be in this one. 
um, six grams of fiber if you eat part of the pouch, 11 grams of fiber if you eat the whole pouch, which is a very significant amount of carbs, uh, fiber, sorry, like almost half of your goal if you're a woman. Our goal a day is 25 grams of fiber. That's your magic, magic way to wellness, that fiber. Um, what else? Oops. Let me sneak this in. Tuna that's more safely and sustainably caught and maybe even tested for a little less mercury. It's almost always at Costco now. So my husband likes this one, this ahi version. We bought these for him. Great source of protein, shelf stable. Forgot to share that with the protein. Forgot to share the peanut butter with the protein and fat. This is different than the usual peanut butter I buy at Costco. I'm a little nervous here. Like we go through mass amounts of Costco peanut butter, organic, it's made from Valencia. Um, peanuts from the southern United States, which are the least, what I have understood and read about, those are the cleanest to eat. And I did not see any of it. There was no Costco brand peanut butter there today. There was just this one, which I've never seen before. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But the price was the same. I think this is almost the same size jar. We'll, we'll get back to on that one. So fats and then a little protein is what you're getting from peanut butter. Tons of fat, a little bit of protein. All right, let's try and get back on the carbs um, to some extent. Tomatoes. So, so thankful to one of the Biceps After Babies ladies um, who talked to me about this brand, Organic Sauce. My husband does make his own sauce. We have a ton out there in the freezer, but I always like to have a jar on hand just in case I forgot to thaw or what have you. Now, this is a huge jar, so I'm going to have to be careful when I use this. It might be like we use half and I freeze half. Um, but I liked the macros on this one. You guys have also told me about Rao's, like R-A-O-S. It's delicious, but it's a little bit high fat in my opinion for a serving of tomato sauce, especially if you're in a cut and you're down in lower macros and calories. Every gram of fat's nine calories. Like you're just paying more attention to that, right? So this one's at Costco. It's organic. Rao's is there. Um, this one has no added sugars and um, two grams of fat, five carbs, and no protein. So we'll give it a go. It looks pretty yummy. Thank you all for recommending it. And then we're gonna get into fresh food in just a second. Oh, another one you all recommended, Spindrift. Oh, it's heavy. For a while, that 30 pack was on an insanely good sale. The price went up by about $5, but it's still a great sale for me compared to what I would pay at Kroger. Spindrift is here on the one. It is in a can, which I don't know if you have a six-year-old or 10-year-old like I do. And I'll answer real quick, Deanne. I go to Costco about every two months at the most is what I try to shoot for. That's just what works for our family. My sister goes every week. So, you know, you can make anything work. Uh, you just got to sit down and decide what your, what your priority and they, do they have what you want every week. So, Spindrift, it is bubbly water flavored with smashed up fruit. So it has some macros that will break your fast if you're a faster like me, um, but negligible macros, essentially two carbs in this one. And it's yummy in my opinion. I really like the flavors. Very good deal at Costco. Okay, let's get into the, the more carby stuff. Oh, here. Interestingly, I said get into carbs, but these are a little bit less carb. Some of you are big fans out there of Simple Mills, often because they can be gluten-free. They make crackers and cake mixes and brownie mixes and cupcake mixes. So this one's at Costco right now, very good price. This is another one I will not buy all the time, but as we get back to school, my kids are having little snacks here and there. I thought this would be um, a fun thing to have on hand. We'll give it a go, see how it goes. So Simple Mills and those, they're mostly carbs and then they have way more fat than your average cracker because instead of using wheat flour, they're using um, and nut and seed flowers. So their flowers are coming from things that have fats. So just keep those in mind. Again, think of your own macros. Do you hear the theme? Do not, if you're a macro person, before you go to Costco, I should even make a tool for you. I will do this. I will make something. We'll have something where at the top of your list, you are going to have your macro goals. You're, and I'm going to make you have your meal by meal macro goals and you'll get there. If you're like, I mean, I just signed up for Macros 101. What are you talking about? But if you've been with me for a while with macro tracking, you know, you can take your big macro goals, say like 200 carbs a day or, for, you know, 140 grams of protein, which is what I shoot for and divide it up by how many times you want to eat and how many snacks you're going to have. And then, you know, your meal goals and your snack goals and it gets so much easier. So then when you look at something and say, well, this has eight grams of fat, 18 carbs and three grams of protein, 
that's a lot of fat for me to have in a snack and this would probably be a snack. I don't know if this is a food I would buy. Makes you, helps you make really empowered decisions that are gonna consistently get you to hit your goals and that's when you get out that great data that lets you make decisions to get results. Does that make sense? So, on we go. Enough of my after talk. Frozen cauliflower rice, organic. Costco is like stepping it up every time I go in the freezer section with the veggies. There's organic broccoli florets today. I took a few other pictures. Um, there was no mixed veggie organic, but two choices of mixed veggies not organic. They're like a stir fry type vibe that a lot of you shared about that you love to stock up on. Perfect to keep in the freezer. You can save the day with tons of veggies when you've got that in the freezer. And that is the only frozen thing today. I sometimes get frozen fruit at Costco. Great prices, especially if you want organic blueberries or strawberries. Smoothie mixes, if that's your thing. Um, bear, uh, what else? Green beans, peas. In the frozen section, we get those, and um, I just don't need any right now because we don't go through them up that fast. But don't don't skip that freezer section for your veggies. They're right, like just as much great nutrition in the frozen ones as the fresh. Maybe even more sometimes. And so let's see what else. What else? Um, here, another thing that I'm like, I will definitely not buy these all the time, but my kids adore these ravioli. So yes, carbs, gluten, cheese, all the things. They adore them. Every once in a while I'll make these for them for dinner and like I'll have a few and then I'll make some, you know, make it work so that it's with a meal that it goes with, but that's probably not something I'm going to eat. I've done this on a low carb day where these are their carbs and I'll just have like my chicken sausages and my zucchini noodles and they'll have these and a little bit of maybe um, whatever extra veggies I've made. So a little something fun for the kiddos or you, if you are a ravioli person, these are really good. You're going to get more sodium, obviously. Good dose of sodium, but it's not, yeah, not eating it every day, every meal. All right, finally to the fresh food, which I bet a lot of you know. But just in case you're thinking, I'm new to macros, how am I going to afford this? Or I want to eat more um, fresh food, whole food, organic food. Costco is one way to help it be affordable. Um, so phenomenal deals when they're in stock on berries, organic or not, at Costco. They usually have blueberries, raspberries, and strawberries sometimes blackberries, sometimes organic, sometimes just traditional. So I've got a great big thing of raspberries today. You just gotta know how fast you're gonna eat them. If you wanna make these last a little bit longer, mold slower, go up and rinse them in a combo of water and vinegar. Let them sit in there for like five minutes, then rinse them and dry them. That will slow the mold. I call it berry washing. But it's not really about cleaning them, it's about slowing the mold, inhibiting the mold growth. Now, you may think I am insane for buying this much uh, zucchini and yellow squash but I have discovered how much I love chopped up frozen zucchini in my smoothies to make them thicker especially on low carb days I've also been shredding zucchini or yellow squash and putting it in chili and it disappears and we get tons of extra nutrition and makes things go further and last but not least this is something I can even just quickly chop up and freeze and then saute someday when I'm ready to eat so I have decided to start getting these at Costco because for organic, these are probably 75% less than what they are at my grocery. Organic zucchini and yellow squash at my grocery are extraordinarily expensive. I'm not sure why. Because I feel like if you have a garden, you're like a drowning in zucchini. But at Costco almost all the time at my area right now. And those are fiber filled carbs. Dun, 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 dun. Again, this is another one where I wouldn't buy this much if I didn't have broccoli on the menu this week. We're going to have some beef broccoli. Everyone in my family is into eating broccoli right now. My husband especially loves it. He loves to stir fry it. And I know if we're like a few days in and I'm like, we're not going to get through this, I just freeze it. And then we can put it in stir fry later. We can um, roast it. You can even roast broccoli from frozen. I know, crazy. So we, we went ahead and invested in the huge mungus broccoli florets. It's the only trick if you're going to try and get a lot of your veg at Costco, unless you have a very big family, is you may wind up wasting some of your food if you don't have some ideas about, well, how can I freeze or share or trade with a friend, um, go in with your sister, do something to get through all of the food. Now, this bag of Brussels sprouts is how I wish the Brussels sprouts were all the time at my grocery because we eat some Brussels sprouts around here. We love them. And, uh, you know, I'll cook this up and it'll be gone. So, 
I love that. I never, these are never at my local grocery and they're so much more affordable. I will have to cut the ends off, but no big deal. I'll make it work. And then here's another one. I don't do this every time, but again, with back to school and snacks, my kids have been pounding the cucumbers. I'm not sure why. Um, and I've been on a Greek thing lately with like the feta and olives and cucumber recipes. So I think we'll go through these quickly. And again, it's organic and you just can't beat how much less it costs than it does at your local grocery for me, at least out here in the Midwest. So let me sh finish with two things that aren't food, but would support your macro lifestyle. One, I didn't buy, um, but it was a weight set. So there's a rack and this is $299 in Springdale, Ohio. So in the Midwest. Um, and it had 30 pounds, five pounders up to 30 pounders. So a phenomenal deal. I didn't buy it because I kind of already have that. I need to have some bigger ones, but on a really nice rack, phenomenal price. A few friends have bought them. I'm surprised they were still there, but if you're looking for weights, they were at my Costco. Really good deal, very nice quality. Everyone I know who's gotten that set, it's like on a triangle, has been really happy with it. There were some exercise bikes too. I didn't take a close look. Um, last but not least, I am in love with this Pyrex snapware that has, I'm not gonna get one out, but I think you can see. See how it has like the colorful seal? So this is a this is a game changer for freezing food, which you know, you heard me say a couple of times here, like I freeze food. So I, about once a month, I'm gonna be doing this in this September, I will invite you all. I'm gonna do another protein power hour where on purpose I take a Saturday for an hour and make a ton of protein. So like my shredded Mexican beef and the um, pork tenderloin carnitas and chickpeas and I just freeze them. So then when life is insane, we don't call the pizza guy. Instead, I just go out to the freezer and say, well, all of this protein's already ready and all I have to do is thaw it and put it into like a tortilla or over some shredded cabbage and dinner is done. <laughs> so to make that happen and not ruin the food, this snapper has been phenomenal. I, freezer bags have been failing me. They've been bursting open. Uh, one burst open with some tomato sauce my husband made the other day and I like to have just screamed. I was so frustrated with myself. So I was like, Amanda, if this is at Costco, you're getting at least one more set. Unfortunately, the super duper rebate that it had for a while where they were just basically giving these away is over. So this is back up at my Costco to $24.99, but I got one anyway. And then I figured I'd ask around and shop around and see if there's anywhere else where I could get a good deal. But the snaps, high quality, um, holding up beautifully in the freezer. You can write on the top of the dry erase marker. We, um, we use these every day. We're using them, you know, we're like being hard on them and they're holding up beautifully compared to anything else. So it's a glass bottom with a plastic lid with a really good seal. There were a few other choices. There was a plastic version, the plastic bottom. I'm not trying to mess with all of that. It doesn't hold up. Um, and there were some round glass mixing bowls with plastic lids, but no seal. So none of that's what we want. <laughs> this is the, this is the star of the freezing your protein. So you get out ahead of it situation. And luckily it was still there. Probably not gonna bring back the rebate. I probably should have stocked up last time I went and bought like three sets. Who knew we would keep going through them? But my husband pointed out, well, you know, every time you make some protein and freeze it, Amanda, then we are down a few containers, right? So I'm like, yes, you're right. You're right. All right. There's some toilet paper in the car, laundry detergent, baking soda. I think that's everything else from this haul, okay? So, I will go get this saved and share it other places as well in my Well Women's community, all the things so that you can get some ideas and um, let me know what you're finding in case you, oops, hold on, I pressed the wrong button on Facebook. Let me know what you're finding. I tried, I tried to find the things y'all had told me about. I didn't hit the jackpot on all of them. You know, to me about those lavash wraps, I really want to try them, they weren't there. The Yasu yogurt bars, like Y-A-S-S-O yogurt bars, they're no, they're, they're no longer at mine. Um, Sabrina, you found some really good protein bars in the refrigerated section, those weren't there either. But it's okay, because look at all these other great macros, um, and all the money, you know, just a lot of money saved, especially in my opinion, in the area of the meats. Um, so, that's it, all right. Just let me know if you have questions. And again, I'll put a link to this. But you can go over to amandabrinkmanbrockman.com 
and I have a little part of my website where I call um, your macro nanny. And that is where I share my Costco shopping list and my Whole Food shopping list that's ordered, sorted by macros. Um, and my latest haul will be there. So this will get uploaded there in case you want to look at it again and just make some decisions about if Costco is something you want to invest in for supporting your eating macros uh, or shopping with macros in mind and um, getting to your goals for yourself. All right, have a fantastic day and I will be checking in with you really soon.